Welcome to impromptu bowling session. Move the camera a little more this way. Mason's Bowling, Lemonster, Mass. Hopefully, hopefully the volume will actually stick this time. I have no idea what happened last time I was here. And I don't know why my phone is flashing to change vibrate only. Press the volume down key again. So I'm gonna press volume up, make that go away. Finally it did. Let's see how things go. This was not the planned stop. This was supposed to be Brian's bowl away, but he's on vacation, so he loses out this month. Unless my buddy Chris wants to go. Let's see how things go. Minor lobs we let live, a few feet out we won't let it be. Thank you for saying so. All right, let's see if we can do better than nine. No, we don't. Another nine. And that's better than nine. Stinko the bonus balls. Putnam Street, Acton Bowl Drome, Brian's Bowl Away. The only two, three places I ever got a double. If I ever got a double here, that would be amazing. Let's see what El Stinko 1 gives us. El Stinko lived up to its name with a one, but we have another El Stinko to go. Crappy fill of four, being a strike fill.
That was dumb luck. Reverse half Worcester right remains for the eight. That one fell out, that's a seven. This also means it's time for the halftime report. And I'm assuming the sound is actually gonna work this time. Just gotta drop by and say hi, see you next stream. Thanks, legend. If you see this later on. Nines with a strike and then a lousy four fill, but an eight, oh, oh, an eight came out of that. And then the seven, we're at 47. And being Masons, that's pretty damn good. Of all the games I bowled here, I've only broken 100 four times. Two of them in one session. Tom. All right, we all knew that the first ball seven pin or first ball ten pin would happen at some point. First stink frame of the day, that's a four. There goes any chance at three digits, not that there was one to begin with. Still a good game, very possible. If I remember, we'll get into all the scoring statistics at the end of this game. That's for Steve Brunchuk. We'll take seven from a spread eagle.
All of a sudden, a strong game came out to a bottom end of average. Again, we'll explain all that after this frame. Strong game to just barely making the minimum of average ability. That's a six. All right, time to explain that after we see how we went from a 47 and a half to just barely squeaking into the 80s territory. Yes, Tom. Jonathan, have you ever knocked a split before? Splits are very hard in Candlepin. I think I might have done it twice, maybe. All right. High single ever, 139. Not here. Low, 44. That was done here. My high at Mason's, 111. And by laws of averages, according to the statistics that the International Candle Bowling Committee has on casual league bowlers, which is a step above me. Average ability is 90, and people generally fluctuate around 10, so 80 to 100. But we want the 90 or higher. 81's okay, though. Game number two. You 10 pinners and duck pinners will call that the 1710. We call that the high low jack. And that's what remains to start with seven. We look for at least half the games to be 80 or better. Seven again. That pin that went in, into the gutter, that does count as falling because it tipped. It tipped over. And there's a welcome to Mason's shot. Quarter Worcester. That kind of ruined the frame. Continuing the failure with six.
Niner. Halftime report. Not so good. The 8 9 is the only good thing there. The 6 hurts. 37, rebuildable. Just checking to see if. Yep. All messages. Can someone explain what Canopin Bowling is? It's what you're seeing right now. It's created by somebody in Worcester who had a 10-pin bowling alley that thought 10-pin is too easy. Make the pins thinner, make the balls smaller, make the game harder. And you get three balls, and you get to play the Deadwood. So long as it's not more than two feet in front of the head pin's set position. Great shot, but welcome to Mason's. One of the world's toughest candle pin bowling alleys. That was interesting. I was aiming for the one on the left. Eh, kept wood, got the one on the right. It's another nine. No matter what kind of bowling it is, that's the double pinochle. Prune juice for everyone. Although 10 pin has more names for it, like the big four or the big ears. Ten. On your third ball, if you clear the plate, it's simply a ten. There's no bonus. There's still good thing. And somebody was nice and gave me a ten dollar donation. Thank you. Now you see why Mason's is hard. Anywhere else, that would have been a spare. Another 10. All right, I want to see something here. Who gave me the super chat? Matthew Riley, may all your frames be strikes. Well, that's where that is so wishful thinking. But I like your thought. And again, thanks for the 10 bucks.
F5 was a tough one to hit. Got one more. So, yep, that's six. Alrighty, I need at least an eight to make the bottom end of average. We also have to wait for the wood to stop rolling before we throw the next ball. I think there might be some Mexican jumping beans in that one. It's far enough away. All right, the train wreck ends on a better note with a nine. Much stronger second half. The six, well, it's tough to get that kind of a conversion when you got the diamond in the middle and a pin off to the side. We match the other one with 81. Here at Mason's, it's tough to get good scores, but I still hold myself to 80 or better. Game number three. Half Worcester right, and with what's left, I could either go for the eight or go for broke and get anywhere from six to 10. I was aiming for the two, but I, I wound up going for broke instead. That's seven. I forgot to mention and did not happen is if the first ball goes in the cutter and the second ball takes them all out in candle pin it's referred to the Emily which some woman named Emily at some point was famous for getting spares like this did not happen obviously Finally, another mark. We know what time it is. It's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? I'm waiting for somebody to make their throw.
Uh, it's a week four. Hence the delay. I forgot to add the 10 from the spare. So the fill only a six. by the Mason's luck again. And that's being screwed by me sucking at this game. That's an eight. It's time for the halftime report. Hello to the fan 29. I don't know if you still know if you're here yet. You got an 8 and a 10 to spare with a lousy 4 fill and curse of the fill with the 6. We're at a decent 45 start. Let's see how the other half goes. the bowling god's middle finger. It took a while for him to show up. That's a nine. Seven. Stink frame of four. There she goes. Still possible to get the bottom end of average.
That's a seven. Need at least eight. Game ruined, that's a six. This game is a fail. Mediocre at best. 78. Does, is below 80, therefore it is not a good game. Game number four. But like I said, we need six of the 12. We're at four and we got two of them. Seven, like pretty much everything except game one. That's the first, I wish it was ball two moment. That's a 10. Finally another mark. Oddly enough, same place as the last game. Time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what our bonus is. As Dave Madlis says, if that half whisker can go on a spare, it's pretty when it goes. Stink frame, I mean stink, the, the stinky bonus ball leaves up. Uh, screw it, it's a two fill. Curse of the fill, two.
that's an eight. The last pin that fell was a gutter ball. It doesn't count. Now for the halftime report. It's salvageable. Boo! Boo! Curse of the fill. The half Worcester was all I got. Then an eight. An eight and a ten to spare is the good stuff. Thirty-nine. Nine from a half Worcester, not too bad. Another nine, that helps. Break under 20 at Mason's, yeah right. My highest here is a 111. Welcome to Masons. Unless I hit the head pin on the Brooklyn side, this frame's junk. Or hit it on the uh, the correct side and get lucky. Minor lob. Still a nine. Funny how I don't try and I can hit a pin that's in the worst of possible angles. Try hard and fail miserably. Alright, this time we need six to hit the bottom end of average ability. Let's try and get good game number three.
seven. Tell me if you don't see a pattern here. Everything except for the crap game of mediocrity is an 81. Nice recovery. That's halfway towards our goal. Game number five. Every game except number one starts with seven. That just barely stayed on. The kingpin remains for the night. I was going to say, I don't like where that piece of wood was. You know they got her. Good enough. So close, but I don't know. I'm doing better than when I got the spare and that lousy two fill, which wound up being a two frame. Time report. 
Seven's the weak thing so far. We have a spare in five so far. Halftime is a 43 with El Stinko the bonus ball to determine what the halftime will be. El Stinko is a crappy one, making the Taking the half of 44, tying my low here. So the fill to six. Still set up all right. Another six, leaving the, leaving the leave Dave Madlis says is impossible, but very easy for me to do. I can say, I don't like where that wood is. If I brush it, maybe. Well, we need at least seven to hit bottom end of average again. Finish with an eight. Take a guess at what the score is. Hello, McCoy. All right, if you guys have been watching a while, 
take a guess at what the score was for game number five. Let's just start with these three, and the 78, and this one. That's right, it's an 81. Everything's an 81 except for game number three. Consistently borderline okay. But that, but that's okay, especially here at Mason's. Game number six. Need at least two more games 80 or above to call it a halfway decent run. Holy crap, this game's actually not going to start with a 7. Kingpin standing alone for 9. Games 1 and 6 start with a 9. Everything else started with 7. We have neighbors now. Nice shot. Thank you, uh, let's see who said that. Thank you, Tech Man, 5150. Two El Stinko bonus balls, thank you again. Two El Stinkos, will they add up to better than six? Well, Stinko won, stinks for leaving the Kaliri left, which is the four horsemen and the nine. So far, it's a five. Everything's repeating in this game today. I mean, this stay. The same as the last strike, Phil. Lousy for a strike, it's a, actually, wait a minute. No, the other strike was a four. There's four standing this time, just the four horsemen, so it's a six. That's the four horsemen that's still standing. Seven.
it seems the kingpin and not the bowling god's middle finger is standing up on its own for a while. That's a nine. Half time for Mason's not too bad. And strike with a okay six fill for a strike. Six fills aren't good. For the score itself, not too bad. 47 half. Set up very favorably for at least a bottom end of average game. Possibly average ability itself, which is nine. I mean 90. Saved by the saved by the third ball for an eight. First time in a long time that the first ball leaves just the four horsemen on the left. Or the right, but in this case the left. Piece of wood, not sure if it's favorable or not. As soon as the halfway down I said that had to be a spare. Time to bury that 81 high of the day. It's El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? That's as good as a fill can get. at the fifth time ever pulling at Mason's hitting a three-digit number. Nice strike again. Thank you very much, Mr. Tech Man. Let's see if we can hit three digits. Two well stinkled bonus balls. one lived up to its name, it's a two. Oh, 
I didn't see the eight pin. Fell of seven. Well, if this third ball gets them all, I'm going to miss my high by that many. be a nine. That's a nine. is not safe. Well, we broke the 81 with a 109. My high here is 111. Fifth time I ever broke 100 here. Game number seven. They are one away from the bare minimum of good number of games. No good. With a full set of pins, you are allowed to reset. Ball number two going for the Emily Spare. Close, but no cigar. Worst case, we're starting with eight. And eight's what we're getting. Start with an eight, but we only got five. Now we're we're doing the worst game, but it's only the second frame.
Anywhere else that could have been a seven or an eight, but it's a five. Looks like this is a throwaway. piece of wood just plopped forward so it's definitely at least eight no six inches away from the deadwood line wood player I know it's still ten half time report Week fives there, but eight, nine, and ten rebuildable thirty seven. Welcome to Mason's. Stink frame of four. luck. I'll take luck. It's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. This one could put things back on track. Say it with me now. What will the bonus be? Well, Stinko is weak and stinks for the leave. That's a four.
Did not see the nine pin. An eight. I need at least seven to hit the bottom end of average and meet the minimum quota. Time, the bowling god's middle finger is alone. That's a nine. Hey, it's not an eighty one, it's an eighty two. Lousy fill hurts. Lousy start hurts. Game number eight. And the jukebox is playing. If things deaden or becomes very obvious sounding, I will mute the microphone. I figured out how to do that when the audio from here didn't work for some reason. All right, let's start game number eight. Gotta let this person go ahead of me first. There we go. Hand was wet from drinking a soda. Time for another Emily shot. Which again, obviously did not happen. Worst start of the day, a four. It's a nine. Tying the worst. Pin for the nine. Now 
Now it's not the worst. Niner. Good news is there's no stragglers on the right. You got eight. Halftime report. It's rebuildable, 39. That were only ball two. That's a ten. Six to ruin it. Still doable. Screwed. That would have been a spare anywhere else. The kingpin again for now. Welcome to Masons. Looks like this may be a junk frame. Crap six. Uh, 
Uh, looks like this will be mediocre. Need to clear the plate. Looks like things will not matter. It's mediocre. Doesn't matter. Seven. And it all fell apart. The 10 and the 9, that's all we had. 77 does not equal 80. This doesn't mean I want all the rest of them to stink now. Squeaky sneezes. Hello there. Let's see how much batteries left. Oh, plenty. Game number 9. Start with a crappy six. Worst case scenario, it's an eight. So far, that 77 is the worst. We leave the new palace right. No wood to help. Went in the gutter, that's a nine. Double wood in the middle for eight. Three of the four horsemen, piece of wood up front that might help. Of course, if I hit it, it would have been better. Got a 10 at least.
it's time for the halftime report. Camera moved a little bit, so there we go. Set up halfway decent. The worst thing that happened there. Otherwise, nineses, nineses, eightses, and a tenses for 42. Set up pretty well for a decent game. Then the spread eagle happened. Eight from a spread eagle, not too bad. Finally a mark. And we all who's familiar with the show know what that means. It's time for El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Welcome to Mason's, the worst spread eagle you can get. Talon both hands, a pathetic two fill. That is the worst thing that could happen hitting the head pin practically. Excellent recovery, Niner. Looks like we're gonna have good uh, game number seven be good. We just need nine points between these two frames. shot, another mark. We're at good territory, bottom end. El Stinko the bonus ball, what will the bonus be? Let this guy go ahead. And that's a fill of seven. Another mark. El Stinko to wrap up this frame. That many for that many digits in my score.
So the bowling gods F me over. That's two. Nonetheless, for the second time ever, 200's in an outing. 100. The other one was a 109. Two points away from my Mason's high of 111. Game number 10. Thank you, uh, let's see who said that. Watson 956. I got the display dark as well, so it's hard to read. It's to save the battery. Start with eight. This time I remember to dry my hands after taking a drink. Wait for this person. but close doesn't get us more than seven.
calling God's middle finger for the nine. Halftime report. We're set up pretty decently. The seven's the weak thing. Marks would help. 41. And apparently we get some bonus points. But we want a full rack. Anywhere else that 10 would have went over. We have to wait for the wood to settle. The only good thing about the ball is, thank goodness that piece of wood was where it was. Shot. I didn't know if the eight was going to go with it. That's a ten. Pin for the nine. Looks like I got another good one. Two frames, and I need ten. Stink of the bonus balls, that many from 90. Average ability. <laughs> A 
and 10 for the bonus. So close, but so far. Strike with a 10 fill. 98. Two games to go. Check it, see if new comments came up. Game Master said something. 34% battery. Should be good for the two games. Got to wait for the wood to settle down. Jukebox is playing, but it's not recognizable. If it gets recognizable, the micro microphone will be muted. Second ball was really good. Just didn't work. Ten to start. So far, that's my best. Ten again. We know it's not going to last, but so far it's a perfect game. In candle pins, all you have to do is have every pin knocked down in every frame for a perfect game. Ooh, this woman almost almost got the Kaliri. So the. Perfect game, at least the smallest score you could get with a perfect game is 100. And 300, the most, no one's ever got 300. Some guy named Sim and Chris Sargent tie the world record at 245. All right, frame three. Bear, keeping the perfect streak going. Perfect streak is the first four frames. El Stinko, the bonus ball. What will the bonus be? Stinko stinks with the three. six and the perfect game streak still remains at four for the record we got three here curse of the fill
Nice try, but remember that we're Masons. Alright, make that pin nice and fat. This guy's ready to go, so let him go first. Eight. Halftime report, which is not too bad. In spite of the three fill and the curse of the fill with a mere six, come back with an eight. We got a 47 half. Wasn't well deserved, but we'll take it. Once again, two will stink of the bonus balls. What will we get? El Stinko one gave us a seven. El Stinko two left the bowling gun's middle finger for a nine. The middle finger will remain for nine. Two frames to go, we're already in the good territory. Second ball was pretty good. Niner. Never at Mason's have I had that many games in a 12 game session with that many numbers in the score. We need seven. The first at Masons. I was trying to get that V in the wood to split and knock the seven and ten down. Did not work. We have to wait for that pin to settle down.
eight. percent battery to finish the last game. Nine good games. Not bad. Especially three of them are three digits. I think that was just barely behind the line, which is good. If not, like I said, I allow a few feet. Niner. It's when it's a competition, it matters. Slip it. Seven. Too full in the head. Crappy six. Third ball made it okay. Pin again for the nine. And now the final half time. It is rebuildable, a thirty nine.
could have used rolled away. Seems to be a divot right in that area. from that disaster, not too bad. Got an eight easily anywhere else. Take seven. So close. Now you can see the difference between the kingpin on the left and my middle finger on the right. The kingpin being further away from the deck light, it appears darker. My middle finger remains for the night. Looks like a good game has gone down the toilet. Out of five. Need to mark. Nothing else will work. And that's a seven. And that's my worst game here. And if this is my worst game, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, if you notice I throw away the last ball, it's because it doesn't matter. If there's a chance of crossing the plane, whether it's to the 80s, to the 70s, 90s, well, 80s, I don't care, because they're a good point. Then we'll yeah, give it a good, honest try. It would be 70s no matter what, so like the other 70 right there, I just threw the third one away, because it didn't matter. First game, 81. Same as two, three is 78. Four and five, 81. The high water mark, missing my high here at Mason's by two, 109. 782, 
101 and whimper worst game of the lot 75 9 out of 12 hey not bad especially for Masons and three of them had this many numbers in the score alrighty so that'll be it pretty good run and a nice $10 donation this is George F551 saying hope you enjoyed the live stream from Masons in Lemonster, Massachusetts. Have a good one.